philosophy of type R is absolutely purist. A functional vehicle, whether that's a bike or a car, that is absolutely focused on providing a total connection between the product and the driver or rider. The more pure information you can provide of what's going on, the more enjoyment you can provide to the rider or the driver in their operation. Very simple, R stands for racing. Twenty-five years ago was the start of R with the CB1100R. From a car point of view, the first Type R was actually the NSX Type R. Uh, a lighter weight, uh, more responsive, more communicative version of the NSX. Then we moved on to the Integra Type R, the Accord Type R, and ultimately the Civic Type R. All of them designed to actually create the maximum driver enjoyment the greatest fun and perhaps the most raw experience. We know that enthusiasts love the old Civic Type R because of the style, because of the status, but ultimately because it was raw and because it was stripped out. But of course, not everyone wants a car that's quite that extreme. With the new Type R, we're very keen to target a much broader um, audience than previously um, by offering customers with a car that's more comfortable, more refined, a car they can use it on an everyday basis. With these new customers that we're targeting with Type R, we realised that they might not necessarily have driven the old Type R. It was quite a rough and a raw ride. In recent years, our competitors have done a lot of boasting about power figures and top speeds, and I think everyone expected the new Type R to have a huge engine. Actually, that's not really what Honda's about, and we didn't want to get into a battle with our competitors over horsepower figures. What Honda's produced instead is a car that's smooth, it corners really well under power, and it's really well engineered. However, it still really feels like a race car, and that's what all Type R should be. With this car, we're targeting a much broader market audience. We're offering a car that's more comfortable, more refined, a car that customers can use on an everyday basis. We've further refined the interior of the Type R, adding a CD player, adding aircon to the GT model. But we've also retained the classic Type R design features, such as the Alcantara Type R seats and the leather Type R steering wheel. Now, the new Civic Type R really does deliver the best of both worlds. The seats are more comfortable, it's got more equipment, such as cruise control. But when you put your foot down, the old performance really is still there. My job is to make sure that we have the correct amount of people working in the correct place at the right time to build every car. It takes about 12 hours to build Civic from start to finish. We were really excited about building the Civic, let alone the Type R. So when the Type R came along, first Type R off the line, we were so excited about it, so proud. Everyone went out to see it. People from the offices went out. We were just so excited and so proud to see it go off the end of the line and the first car built. It was brilliant. We sell more Type R's in the UK than we do in the whole of Europe. And I think that's mainly due to the fact that we build it in this country, in Swindon. Type R means a great deal to me. Um, I'm very proud that I work for Honda and Type R being such a unique car built in this country and it's got such a great reputation for its performance. I, I love it. I'd love to own one. <laughs> Lend me one. Let me have one for the weekend. <laughs> I haven't even sat in one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a Type R fan for many, many years. The old Civic Type R was great for thrashing around, but it wasn't very comfortable on motorways. So it'd be great if the new car did all that stuff, plus it was comfy on motorways, picked up the shopping, just a better all-round car. I want to thrash along country lanes, but then be able to drive home in comfort on the motorway. I expect it to do everything it used to do, and a lot more. If it goes as well as it looks, 
if it goes as well as it looks, I'll be made up. I think the new Type R feels more grown up than the previous model, and I think this will help to get rid of the boy racer image that the previous car had. That doesn't mean to say that it's boring, it's just more comfortable, more easier to use on a day to day basis. Company car drivers spend a large amount of time in their car doing many miles around the UK. Now, they, of course, they like a car that is stylish, that has performance, but at the same time, they need something that's going to actually work for them, a car they can live with every day. Because of business fleet restrictions, it can be difficult to crack the corporate market with a hot hatch. Companies generally don't want cars that are small and very powerful. They want cars that are safe, that are reliable, that have got good residual values. And the great things about Civic Type R is that it has all of these, and it's fantastic fun to drive. And we know from the number of user chooser customers who have contacted us already, it's going to be a car that's very much on their radar. This car has been very aggressively priced at £17,600 and when you compare that to the Golf GTI for example which is over £20,000 you can see that we're offering our customers great value for money. The Civic Type R was priced very cleverly as an affordable hot hatch. We had a forecast of 1,500 units for the first year and actually achieved over 7,000. So out of a total of 35,000 units for the product life cycle, the performance outweighed any other competitors within that sector. And we really hope that the new Type R can achieve exactly the same results. The new Type R is just as reliable as any other Honda. In fact, our customer department tell us that of all the billions of VTEC engines that have been sold, we've never had a VTEC failure on any engine fitted with the system. At Honda, we're very keen to target uh, female drivers with this new product. Um, I know, for example, myself and friends and family that I've got have talked about how great the car looks and the fact they can't wait to get their hands on one and get a test drive. Now, the old car could be quite hard work and always demanded to be pushed and thrashed. Now, with the new one, you've still very much got that element there. If you want to push it, if you want to thrash it, absolutely fine, and the excitement is, uh, is very much present. But of course, if you're just driving along in traffic or using it on a day-to-day -day basis, it can be driven quite easily as well. It's a little bit more grown up, maybe. It's not necessarily the most powerful, it's not necessarily even the fastest. What it is, is it's the most communicative. It gives you the greatest pleasure that we can. Why do I love Type R? Very simple. It's the nearest I can get to a motorbike on four wheels.